guys have any plans with the winnings? Uh, I'm not going on a cruise. I've never been on a cruise. I think I want to go on a cruise. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, even I was just about to say that. I've always been wanting to go on a cruise since I was little. So I think after the season, I'm going to go on a cruise. And definitely going to go on vacation. Probably go to Puerto Rico or Mexico after the season. But as of right now, we're staying locked in. I'm saving the money and uh, just focusing on the season. Well, thank you both for joining us today on 2K TV. We're so... 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Bucks are always hyped to play in front of their home crowd, and tonight's no different. Some confident players coming through the tunnel earlier. A magnificent sunset in Milwaukee. What a beautiful Midwest city. Welcome to 2K Sports and Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. The playoff picture really coming into focus now. Two slam dunk champs, Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our analysts tonight. Brian Anderson here. We'll hear from Allie LaForce as well. Hey, Allie. Thanks, Brian. Well, current financial challenges have Commissioner Silver and the league office dusting off proposals for expansion. Silver said at some point, it's manifest destiny that the league will eventually expand. The last time that happened was 1988 with the Bobcats. Guys, Seattle fans hopeful things move along. Boy, Ali, wouldn't that be something? You look at Atlanta, and what a dismantling we've seen in this series. These guys are locked and loaded and looking like future champions. Yeah, that is very true. I mean, there's still a long way to go in this postseason, but they're just too focused and too talented. This matchup likely ends tonight. Now Atlanta starting five. Collins at the four with Capella at center. Trey Young out there with C.J. McCollum. And it's Reddish in at the small forward position. And for the Bucks, Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. Giannis and Portis are in the middle. And it's Nuora in at the small forward. Now here's Capella. And no good. Oh, great D that time from Portis. Outside Holiday. Called in by Reddish. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Now the Bucks with it. On an Akumpo outside. No luck on that one. Pass to Young. Back to Capella. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Not exactly how you want to dive into the game. Picks up his first foul right off the bat. Out to the wing. Here's Reddish. McCullum outside. Back to Reddish. Four on the clock. First shot won't go. It's two on one. Portis down low, guarded by Young, and there it is for him. Coming out swinging and hitting the game's first bucket. Well, for us, it will be interesting. Can they keep that kind of pace up all game long? Now here's Young. Out to McCullum. Back to Young. Here's Capella, and it's Capella with the jam. Refusing to give up on the glass, Capella truly works for his rebounds. Young against Holiday. Over to the wing. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Soft touch off the glass. And yeah, it's just gobbling up the rebound. Just spreads his wing out there. And ball falls right into it. Young, the pass to Collins. Here's Reddish. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. The Bucks have gone two for five to start today's game. Outside Holiday. 
He drops it from range. And Drew Holiday can make enough threes to make your defense nervous. Young against Holiday. Young, the pass to McCullough. Knocks it loose. Capella finds McCullough. And he's going for the oop here. And it's Capella with the jam. And when the time is right, Capella can get up there. Great job rising up for the bucket. Outside Holiday. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And they double up Anadokounmpo. Unloads. The Bucks rebound. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Young misses. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of seven so far. On the wing, Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. Shoots over Young. Holiday from long range. Again, Holiday missing. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Here's Young. He drains out one after two misses. Now one for three. That is a tough, tough shot there. Trey Young, such a small player, he needs that floater in his arsenal. Honor to Kumpo, outside. Honor to Kumpo is doubled. Outside Holiday. Pass to Portis. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Portis has got his second bucket on the night. How about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team first player. Love that from the guard position. Young, the pass to Capella. From the right block, the shot won't fall. Milwaukee in the lead. Now Holiday. To the middle. Here's Portis. And then Portis with the dunk. And breaking out the one hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Holiday against Young. From deep three-point range. That shot off the mark. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. That's his first foul. And the Bucs with some changes. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Mielita comes in for Anadokounmpo. And Smart subbed in for Drew Holiday. Smart against McCullum. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Nora. Count it. One for one to start the game. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rush stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. McCullum uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, McCollum undersized at his position, at least in terms of his strength. But he can play that way because he competes. That's a tough one there. Now here's Lopez. DiVincenzo driving. And he buries his first look. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Oh, there's the alley! Well, if you go to Lehigh, of course, you're going to make smart plays. McCollum good at sensing when his man was going to be wide open. McCollum against Smart. McCollum with some nice D. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Pass to Collins. Here's Reddish. The elites are defending. Just five to shoot. With the floater. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Hey guys, they're passing the ball very efficiently here in the first half. Another part of the game tonight where they've been effective is to get points in the paint. Johnson, he's checked in for the Hawks. Bogdanovich comes in for CJ McCullum. And that one misses. No question, there's a high ceiling for Cam Reddish and where that talent can get him to. Bielita outside to the paint. 
Here's Lopez. Nice shot from 10 feet out. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Bogdanovic passes to Johnson. Here's Reddish. Steven Chinzo covering. Reddish misses. Milwaukee has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Here's Smart. That one goes in. Now it's a seven-point Bucks lead. A nice job by Bielita. Be patient. Look for teammates. He found them. Fires for three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Now here's Smart. Rebound Atlanta. Pass to Reddish. The three is up. Nails it from beyond the arc. And now just a one-point Bucks lead. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Wagner's checked in for the Bucks. Anadokounmpo comes in for Nora. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Herder's checked in. Kumpo outside. Bogdanovich against DiVincenzo. Shot clock at five. Here's Smart. The shot misses. Ooh, some solid defense from Herder. And he lobs it up. Okangu, no good. They've been just a little bit better on the glass so far, showing their tremendous work ethic. With a nine-footer, and there's the bucket as Bielita finishes it off. I love this game plan. That's ten points in a row from the close. Back to Herder. Outside Johnson. Outside Herder. Inside, Wagner's on it, and he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. At the line for the Hawks, Onyeka Okanu. At the line for one. it up. Now smart. A great job to establish position and square up. Morris checked in for the box. His first personal foul. Third team foul. Coming out of the floor for your box. Jordan Morris. Atlanta's gone two of four from distance to begin this one. Got a piece of it. Outside Herder. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Known for being a scorer, Herder is good at staying active and then looking to capitalize inside. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Smart outside. Here's Nora, covered by Johnson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Hawks. We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in this first half. Another part of the game tonight where they've been effective is to get points in the paint. First one at the line is good. Oh. 
That one falls. So he hits both of them. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Throws it up high. Shooters oh, yeah. tend to be hungry, but this time Herder finds an open teammate. The Bucks trail. Here's Smart. It's hauled in by Herder. His struggles this quarter are self-evident, and the team just continues to suffer for him. That one goes. Yeah. Count it. Well, Herder is a shooter, but right now dropping some nice dimes. Milwaukee has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Down low. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Now here's Herder. Shot clock at six. That one is off. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Smart outside. Pass to Nora. Back to Smart. And there's the drive. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. At the line for Milwaukee, Javante Smart. At the line for two. for Smart. Drew Holiday's checked in for DiVincenzo. Young, he's checked in for the Hawks. He's perfect from the line this time. Atlanta's gone 2 of 4 from distance to begin this one. Outside Bogdanovich. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. And the Hawks lead by three. Uh, great shooting off the pass. Get the feet set. Good balance. Bogdanovich dangerous. Ananakupo can't connect. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The Hawks on top. They're up by three. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. And some down shooting nights will happen. But Giannis says the Bucks will continue to play the right way. Try to keep shooting, try to keep making plays, keep finding the open man. And uh, obviously, the ball going to go in eventually. Uh, you know, it's a season and uh, there's going to be games that you're not going to play your best. Uh, you're not going to knock down shots. But at the end of the day, we find ways to win. And uh, got to keep shooting the ball. Got to keep shooting the ball. Have no doubt they can always lean on their defense. And we know the Bucks are strong enough at that end. I mean, they can scrap out wins even when they struggle to score. Happy to have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. All right, guys, what do you think about the Hawks here in this one? It was pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Working the offensive glass that sometimes comes from predictable shots from your offense and they've been opportunistic here they've got Wagner and it's on to Kumpo in at the four that's the five on the floor for the Bucks. on defense the Hawks three point lead Bogdanovich from long range counted from distance 
Bogdanovich has got six points. Bogdanovich has such a nice repeatable motion on this perimeter game. Beautiful three ball there. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First team foul. At the line for Milwaukee. Galvante Smart taking two shots. First free throw is good. And so smart nails them both. Atlanta has gone four of six from three point range thus far. Outside Herder. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley oop slam, VA. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Holiday with the ball. And Capella picks him up defensively. Rebound Atlanta. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Outside Young. And there's Capella. That one's good. Assist on the assist, assist by Young. Young. And it's an eight-point Hawks lead. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Holiday with the ball. Doesn't go for him. Johnson with the defensive effort. Outside Young. Closed them in on two minutes played here in the second. It's Herter on the wing. Defended by Smart. Down to five on the shot clock. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Herter showed some great progress in his first year and now showing how much more comfortable he is. Kevin Herter. The line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Now Kevin Herter's favorite player growing up was Dwayne Wade, and that's why he wears the number three. And some changes here for the Bucks. Portis comes in for Wagner. And Anadokounmpo is subbed in for Anadokounmpo. And a change for the Hawks. Collins checked in. Hits both from the stripe. And here's Holiday. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Smart. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And so far in this one, two for four. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket and it feels like within eight feet he's going to dunk just about anything. Pass to Young. Let's a floater go. Nora grabs the board. For Milwaukee, they've gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Outside Holiday. And here's Smart. The layup is good. Smart has got four points in the quarter. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. And so it's Milwaukee with it. After the Hawks picking up a basket just moments ago. You know how you want to tell people don't let Giannis get too close? Well, one step past half court, he's too close. Against out of the Kumpo. And he's going for the oop here. And it's Capella with the jam. Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish, that was angry. 
Smart outside. Beyond the arc. They get it again. Goes back up. Shot's good by Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo's got eight. I like how Giannis is inviting a little bit more contact and no longer shying away from it. Capella finds Young. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. Inside. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. A good look from Bogdanovich. And the Hawks tack on two more. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. Good work there as it goes. He's got 10. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. You've got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Hold the right strings. That's what they love to do. And the Bucs with some changes. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. And Bielitsa subbed in for Nora. Reddish is checked in for the Hawks. McCollum comes in for Herter. Now here's McCollum. Down low. Here's Capella. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Excellent off-ball awareness as Brooke was able to get over there and swat it away. Here's Holiday. Here's Ana de Kumpo. That's basket number six in eight tries. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. To the inside, here's McCollum. It doesn't go for him. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. To the middle. Here's Bielitsa. And he banks in the layup. And now it's just a two-point Hawks lead. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. McCollum, pass to Collins. McCollum against Smart. The rebound by the Bucks. Adana Kumpo has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Pass to Smart. Back to Adana Kumpo. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. And stolen by Ana Nakumbo. Basket's good. Just so oh. successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. To the paint. Holiday grabs the miss. Smart with the ball. Picked up by Collins. And Collins with the big block. Good timing defensively. Collins just up there, the long arms and quick off the deck. Back to Reddish. Pass to McCullum. Clock at six. The Hawks need to get one up here. Reddish. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. And here are the Bucks now. They're on a 16-6 run. Now here's Bielitsa. McCullum defends. Bielitsa, the pass to Smart. And he goes in for the dunk. The Elita at his size able to see over the top of the defense. Atlanta's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. And the Hawks call time here. You look at Giannis Antetokounmpo. What a contribution. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. The Bucks making a switch here. DiVincenzo's checked in. No good on the quick three. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Driving in. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. That one goes in. Now it's a four-point Milwaukee lead. The Hawks have gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. McCollum against Bielita. Collins outside. Who poked away. DiVincenzo with the steal. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. Out to DiVincenzo. Oh my! Came close to a four point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Second team. Hey, nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. Dante DiVincenzo. Taking three shots.
That one misses. Anacumpo is checked in for the Bucks, And the Hawks making a change here as well. Johnson, he's checked in for Collins. Good on the second one. And he nails the third. Here's McCullum. Pass to Reddish. And he's going for the lob! Sometimes Reddish might defer too often, and maybe sometimes that's true. But also, give him credit for being unselfish. Holiday with the ball. The Kangu on him. Looking to get it going. Unable to get that one. Johnson with the defensive effort. The Hawks trailing. Pass to Reddish. Back to McCullum. Five to shoot. Wow, way off on that one. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Outside Holiday. Pass to Lopez. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got four assists now tonight. Lopez close up and gets it done. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Turn around, Jay. Not enough on that one as it misses. Here's Holiday. Pass to Lopez. And it's Lopez with the chance. Lopez at that size has no trouble throwing it down. McCullum outside. And it's good. Two points. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Left side, DiVincenzo. Rejected by a Kongwu. And that one is stuffed right through. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things. Playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Vincenzo on the wing. He has six. Atlanta's gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. And so far in this one, two for four. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Timeout called. Milwaukee. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the time? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Bogner's checked in for the Bucks. Nora comes in for Bielica. Bogdanovich has checked in for the Hawks. Pass to Nora. Tipped away. McCullough with a steal. Down low. And a fast break now for the Hawks. CJ the score now all even. McCollum's got six points. Well, CJ, as soon as he gets a step on you, you're, you're pretty much done. Aggressive right there in transition. DiVincenzo with it. Over Bogdanovich. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Here's Atlanta now. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Akongwu with the bucket. Akongwu's got four points this quarter. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Holiday. Rebound Atlanta. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. McCullum shot is off. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Anadokupo finds DiVincenzo. And he makes
takes it on the layup. DiVincenzo's got his third basket of the night. That lack of defensive intensity is not going to stop a player of his caliber from scoring. Now McCollum. He has six. Outside Bogdanovich. Three-pointer, no good. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for Milwaukee. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks. I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy, so it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, for the Bucks. Although this series has gone about as poorly as possible for them, they're still hanging tough here tonight. No team likes to get swept, and maybe, just maybe, they can avoid that fate with a strong second half. And Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Milwaukee? The differential is the free throw attempts. And that's one of the big stories in this game tonight. They were being so aggressive and so smart that all they could do on the defensive end was foul. And Shaq, what'd you see from Atlanta? It was a great display of team ball. It wasn't five individuals out there. It was one cohesive unit sharing the rock. Not only does that make it harder to guard, it makes the game more enjoyable to watch. folks thanks for joining us it's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo and just halfway through this contest he's already registered a double double yeah guys like him love to stuff the statue he's doing it here and welcome back folks for more Eastern Conference semifinal action here's who Nate McMillan is starting the second half with Collins at the four with Capella at center. C.J. McCollum is out there with Trey Young, and it's Reddish in at the three. Great decision by Holiday to sprint towards the hoop for the high percentage shot inside. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Nice. That one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Here's Hanna Kumpo. Holiday with the ball. Pass to Nora. Six on the shot clock. And that one hits the back iron. The Hawks trailing. Collins outside. Now Young. Here's Reddish. And he drives in. Reddish daring the defenders that time. Yes, he got really aggressive. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. The line for the Hawks. Cameron Reddish. Two shots. And he makes a first. so he hits both. 
that if you're just joining us. We play just over a minute here in the third. Collins against Portis. Into the lane. Pass to Nora. And he lobs it up top. And Giannis with the jam. Every night there's something that Giannis does on the floor. Where you just have to put your hands on your head. Wow, what a move. Post Young lays it up and banks it in. Young's got six points. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Outside Holiday. Excellent D there from Collins. Defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. On the wing, Holiday. To the left wing. Now here's on to Kumpo. Defense right on him. That shot is off. Atlanta has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Capella, pass to Young. To the wing on the left. Collins outside. Pass to Reddish. Five on the clock. For the lead. And the layup is up and in. Reddish has got his third bucket of the night. Reddish pinballing, fighting his way through the defense, and then finding a way to score. Timeout called. Milwaukee. And the Hawks making a change here. Herder's checked in. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. On to Kumpo, inside. Collins defending. Count the basket and the foul! They'll pin that one on John Collins. Defensive foul. John Collins! That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the box. Giannis by the lane. By the lane. What's One up? shot. Okay, each year we get to see Giannis come back from the summer and what he's done to up his game. Get a little bit stronger in the weight room, be a little bit better ball handler, play a little bit more aggressively. The guy's competing to be one of the best players in the business. Second team foul. Shooting for Atlanta. Kurt Capel taking two shots. down the first one. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front. But at least they're tied up. Which can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Now here's Young. Six points for him. Can't cash it in from close range. Outside Holiday. Back to Portis. to Juan de Kumpo. He's off on that one. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Capella has to Young. Collins with it. He's covered by Holiday. Shoot from the baseline. Rebounded by the Bucks. Holiday's got four rebounds now. DiVincenzo finds Holiday. 
pass to Ana de Kumpo. And they converted last on attempt number three. Ana de Kumpo's got 21. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Oh, they get a hand on it to the inside. And here's Herter, outside Young. From deep, Atlanta again missing. The Bucks have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Here's Nora. He has six. Out to DiVincenzo. He buries it from three. DiVincenzo's got 11 points. They're showing a tremendous amount of fire tracking down misses. The attitude is paying off with second chance points. Now here's Collins. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Young on the attack. And it's Capella with the chance. I would say that Trey Young's pick and roll game is fairly advanced for a player his age. What a treat to watch. Timeout called. Milwaukee. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. And some changes here for the Bucks. Lopez comes in for Portis. And Bialica is subbed in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pass to Bialica. Here's Nora. Holiday from long range. Buries it from three. Holiday's got seven points for the quarter. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Now here's Young. He has six. Collins inside. He's covered by Holiday. He tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Pass to Bielitsa. Shoots over Young. The shot by Bielitsa, no good. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Here's Bogdanovich. Kicks it out to Collins. Young against Holiday. Second shot opportunity. And the nice layup Pretty by Young. Young. Give him eight. Great to watch Trey Young set plays up on a nightly basis. Outside Holiday takes it inside to the middle. DiVincenzo pass to Holiday. Now here's Bielitsa. Four on the clock. Shoots over Young. The shot by Bielitsa, no good. For Atlanta, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. Pass to Bogdanovich. And here's Collins. He's covered by Holiday. Collins passes to Bogdanovich. Oh! Get from range. Now just a three-point Bucks lead. A big man John Collins seeing the court that time. Outside, DiVincenzo. Young against Holiday. with the defensive effort. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. Capella can't get it to go. Milwaukee has gone three of six from deep so far. Here he goes. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Or a good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. It's just very solid offense. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Wagner's checked in for the Bucks. Anadokounmpo comes in for Nora. Akangwu checks in for the Hawks. Johnson comes in for Collins. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Holiday against Young. Out 
Antetokounmpo covering. Bogdanovich passes to Johnson. Driving inside. It's rebounded by Wagner. Milwaukee has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Pass to Holiday. Lopez with it. Back to Holiday. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. McCollum, he's checked in for Trey Young. Now into the lineup for the Hawks. CJ McCollum. Pass to McCollum. it in on the layup. CJ McCollum's got eight. Well, McCollum has shown the ability to get inside and also finish. It's just how shifty he is. DiVincenzo with it. And Johnson picks him up defensively. Now Wagner. Over Bogdanovich. And it's Wagner missing. for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's got 11. Rejected by a Kongwu. For the lead. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Pass to Holiday. Here's Wagner. Covered by Johnson. Two minutes. Out of the outside. Six to shoot. Back to Wagner. Holiday from long range. The rebound by the Hawks. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Johnson. Driving to the basket, and he gets the bucket. Give him eight points now. A hard-fought matchup. Seven lead changes thus far. And these teams have been sparring from the get-go. Neither able to land the knockout blow. DiVincenzo driving. The shot off that time. So Atlanta will take it the other way. And he lobs it up to the rim. The Kongu, no good. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. And you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. And it's Atlanta's ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Pass to Johnson. And just wasn't able to set up in time. A different look for Milwaukee. Nance, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Hill in for Drew Holiday. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Reddish is checked in. Here's McCollum. Give him eight. The shot that time, not on target. Good work defensively by Hill. Inside, Wagner, and there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. Man, what a wild one this has been. Eight lead changes, some big plays, and some big mistakes, too. Well, he's a great shooter who can just make plays for others. McCollum with a nice assist that time. The Bucks trail. Outside, DiVincenzo. One on the clock. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. Three quarters of play and a close one here. The Hawks on top, leading by a point. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. 
You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. We've got Dante DiVincenzo. Giannis Antetokounmpo is out there with Wagner. And it's Portis in at center. Locking down the middle. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Pass to Wagner. Now here's Anadokounmpo, guarded closely. McCollum outside. Now Johnson. And there's the lob. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. The Reddish not just a scorer, also good at realizing when to dish. Down low. Kupo grabs the board. Honor Kupo's got his 16th rebound on the night. Pass to Wagner. DiVincenzo on the wing. McCullum defends. Here's Long. Fires the three. Good. And Honor Kupo gets the assist. Honor Kupo's got three assists now in this one. Covering. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They pin that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, man, the defender really went after him. Number 35. Two shots. And he drops the first. Clint Capella, he's checked in for the Hawks. Both good from the line that time. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. The drive by DiVincenzo and Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Let me just look at the box score right now. He's not only filling it up with these points, but in every facet of the game. And here's McCollum. The 11-footer. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Antetokounmpo has got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Here's Portis. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. For Atlanta, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Honor to Kupo against Johnson. Atlanta again missing. The Bucks have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Rebound Atlanta. Johnson's got four rebounds now. McCullum outside. Johnson slams it in. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Here's Nora. Good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Anadokounmpo's got four assists in the game. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. Swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Nate McMillan as he talked with the team. He told them, quote, it all comes down to the next few minutes. 
that's what will decide this game. So step up. This is your moment, not theirs. Inspiring words, guys. Okay, thank you, Allie. Now here's Young. Back to Reddish. Pulls up. Shot clock at six. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Can't back off of Reddish. He's going to let it rip. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Holiday. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Collins outside. Back to Young. Pass to Reddish. From deep. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Timeout, timeout. And the Hawks lead by two. Good luck keeping Capella off the boards. He works hard for every rebound. He's a nice presence in the middle. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Now here's on to Kumpo. Away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt. Outside Young. Kicks it out to Collins. Pass to Reddish. Five to shoot. Over Holiday. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. It's Portis. High post. And there's the drive. And then Portis with the dunk. Well, he could just see over the defense. The, the eyes to spot the open man. Giannis flourishing right now as a facilitator. Here's Young. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. And so the ball out of bounds. Anadokounmpo touched it last. McCullum outside. Just five to shoot. No good. A bit long that time. Milwaukee has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Portis, the pass to Holiday. Back to Portis. To take the lead. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got five assists tonight. Smart play call to get him something at the rim. While taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that. Now here's Young. Here's Collins. Here's Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. Oh, oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. One shot. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Good from Capella. The Bucks have gone seven for eleven so far in the fourth, and they double up on it. Acumpo. Here's Nora, and the Bucks hit again from deep. This is the very definition of a back and forth contest. Yes, neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. Now here's McCollum. Pass to Reddish. Drive. Can't get it to drop. Great D that time from Ananakumpo. The Bucks have gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. Holiday, and he drops in the layup off the glass. And it's a four point Milwaukee lead. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Throws it up high, and then it's Collins with the dunk. Yeah, so impressive. Collins way up for that one. Here's Hanna Nakumpo. Outside Holiday. Pass to DiVincenzo. Now Hanna Nakumpo. Collins defending. And Hanna Nakumpo with the stuff. The great read 
between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Collins. Young from long range. The offensive rebound. And it's Capella with the jam. And that really has to lift his teammates' spirits right now. I'll tell you, Grant, these second-chance buckets could be what this game comes down to. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. Here's McCullum following the score by Milwaukee. Looking to end this cold spell. Kicks it out to Collins. Fires in the triple. Well, how about that? Getting better and better from distance. John Collins with a nice shot there. Now here's Holiday. Pass to Nora from downtown. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got six assists now in the game. Now Young. Capella inside. Portis on him. Here's Reddish. To the paint. Another shot. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Trey Young stepping up and delivering in a big-time moment. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. They keep piling on the assist, guys. They haven't cooled off any in that regard. Well, looking up and down the stat sheet here, I'm seeing those second chance points jump out at me. They've done a great job on the offensive glass. Milwaukee has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Holiday passes to Lopez. To the middle. McCollum with a steal. Collins finds McCollum. Up top, Capella. Collins outside. McCollum outside. Outside Young. Clock at six. To take the lead. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Milwaukee has got three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Pass to Holiday. Back to DiVincenzo. Let's the three fly. And Young pulls it down. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Capella can't get it to go. Milwaukee in the lead. DiVincenzo with it. And Capella picks him up defensively. And a fast break now for the Hawks. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Pass to Holiday. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside, DiVincenzo. Six to shoot. And Young pulls it down. Atlanta's gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Capella pass to McCullum. There's a minute 34 left in the final quarter. Misses from short range. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. First team foul. At the line for the box, Rook Lopez. Two shots. Shooting two. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up two. Lopez serves as an unbelievable case study for someone who changed his game over time. I mean, almost in a season. So specifically, how he added the three-point shot, it's made him such a valuable asset to this offense. And so he drops them both, and it's a three-point game. Hitting all your free throws at the end is huge in this league. So many games are decided by razor-thin margins. Let's it go. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. 
Oh, Capella stays ready. I mean, he's not his team's top scoring option, but he makes plays when he needs to. And the Bucks call time here. They're on top by one. There's a minute 12 left to play in the fourth quarter. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Trey Young. And he really made his presence felt on the inside. Just so active and looking all game long for openings. And he found them by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop. Now here's Ana Kumpo. Holiday from long range. And they'll get another chance. They grab their own miss. Yes, it's good. Ana Kumpo's got 15 points here in the second half. Big time shot from young Giannis there. He feels more and more comfortable in these big moments. Outside Young. Money. Beautiful setup on the alley -oop. Great catch. Great flush. Holiday with the ball. Pass to Ana Kumpo. Here's DiVincenzo. McCollum pulls it in. Oh, so much on the line here. And the crowd is locked in. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. And now they decide to foul intentionally. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the box. Drew Holiday. At the line for two. So the first one drops, and that'll put him up two. I don't know if Drew Holiday's an underrated player, but he certainly is underappreciated with the way he can go at you as a two-way guy. He can score, and he can also guard positions one through four. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two-point lead to three. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're down by three. There's 25 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Atlanta with it. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Looking to get back on track. McCullough's shot is off. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far, just not himself in the second half. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. Free throw is good, and that gives him a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Now it's a two-possession game. Important foul shots right there. And a deep three from Young. The rebound by the Bucks. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. At the line for Milwaukee, Drew Holiday. Taking two shots. Shooting two. Cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up making the second. And that increases the lead to six. Young way outside. Misses there. 
So we see the Bucks get the win here. And they're still in a tight spot. But you have to applaud the grit they showed to get this win. You can't ever underestimate a team in the postseason. They fought hard and got a crucial victory. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Giannis, you said these games start to matter more as you come down the stretch. Can you tell me more about that? Just come down here, try to play good basketball, try to play together, and try to get better. You know, we just try to get in that playoff shape and uh, just get better. Championship always on your mind. Thanks, Giannis. Allie, thank you as always. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For Ali LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off, and we'll see you next time.